Welcome to episode four of our captivating series, Building the Golden State, a journey through the history of construction in California. In this episode, Innovations in Bridge Engineering, we invite you to explore the remarkable world of bridge construction and witness the groundbreaking advancements that have shaped California's iconic bridges. California, a hub of engineering ingenuity and architectural marvels, has been at the forefront of bridge construction innovations. In the early days of bridge construction, the focus was primarily on functionality and stability. However, as California experienced rapid growth and faced unique geographical challenges, engineers were compelled to push the boundaries of bridge engineering. Picture this. Massive spans defying gravity, intricate cable networks suspending structures with elegance, and cutting-edge materials supporting monumental loads. California's bridge engineers have truly mastered the art of creating engineering marvels that seamlessly blend strength, functionality, and aesthetics. The construction of the Golden Gate Bridge was an audacious endeavor that required innovation and advanced engineering. Spanning the Golden Gate Strait, the bridge connected San Francisco to Marin County and revolutionized transportation in the region. The construction began in 1933 under the leadership of Chief Engineer Joseph Strauss, who envisioned a suspension bridge that would withstand the region's unique challenges including strong winds, treacherous tides, and seismic activity. Strauss assembled a team of experts who collaborated on the design and engineering of the bridge. The architects Irvin Morrow, Leon Moiseev, and Charles Ellis played pivotal roles in creating the distinctive Art Deco styling and the structural integrity of the bridge. Strauss and Ellis's partnership during the construction of this iconic bridge was rife with tension as their heated debates on how the bridge should be constructed paved the way to what it is today. Ellis was a young engineer with a fresh perspective and a determination to revolutionize bridge construction. It was Ellis who devised a design that promised both superior quality and reduced costs, effectively slashing the budget from over $100 million to $35 million for the project. Collaborating with Ellis were two remarkable minds. Leon Moiseev, a renowned engineer, introduced the concept of a long suspension bridge. Maro, an architect with a keen eye for aesthetics, contributed to the bridge's iconic appearance, envisioning it as the magnificent structure we recognize today. The combined efforts of Ellis, Moiseev, and Maro resulted in a groundbreaking design that harmonized efficiency structural integrity, and breathtaking aesthetics. Their collective brilliance created a bridge that would become a symbol of engineering prowess and architectural beauty. However, Strauss still recognized himself to be the pioneer of the project. He was an excellent promoter, marketing himself as the sole genius for the Golden Gate Bridge. Tensions ran high within this team which led to the dismissal of Charles Ellis. The reason for his dismissal had been vague, but Strauss argued that he had been wasting time and money by taking too long to finish the bridge. Unfortunately, these internal challenges were only the tip of the iceberg for the deep challenges that the entire team had to face during the construction of the Golden Gate. As the bridge progressed, the process became life-threatening as workers battled fierce winds and freezing temperatures high above the turbulent waters of the Golden Gate Strait. To combat this, they used innovative construction techniques like the cantilever scaffolding system, which allowed them to work safely. This also allowed them to extend the bridge's sections towards the center. After four years of relentless effort, the Golden Gate Bridge was completed and opened to the public on May 27, 1937. Its vibrant orange color, envisioned by Morrow, is now internationally recognized, iconic, 
in all its splendor. Let's dive into the technical aspects that make these bridges so brilliant. First, we encounter the awe-inspiring suspension bridges. These giants defy conventional limits by spanning vast distances with grace and resilience. The cables are anchored deep into the ground, with concrete anchorages acting as robust counterweights, preventing the bridge from being swept away by nature's forces. Moving on to cable-stayed bridges, we find a different engineering marvel. Here, we witness a symphony of cables, rising vertically from towers to support the bridge deck. The cables are meticulously arranged in a fan-like pattern, each cable carefully calibrated to distribute the load evenly. This ingenious design allows for exceptional structural integrity, while reducing the need for extensive support beneath the deck. But it's not just the designs that make these bridges extraordinary. The materials used and construction techniques employed by a crucial role in their brilliance. Engineers harness the power of sheet metal, composites, and high-performance concrete, creating materials that can withstand immense pressure and seismic forces. Once these bridges stand tall, their journey continues. Engineers and maintenance crews work diligently to inspect and maintain their structural integrity, utilizing state-of-the-art technologies to detect any potential issues and ensure the safety of the millions who traverse them. The development of cable-stayed bridges marked a significant advancement in bridge engineering. Unlike suspension bridges, which rely on vertical suspenders, cable-stayed bridges utilize a series of cables directly connected to the bridge deck, creating a visually striking and structurally efficient design. California embraced this innovative design, resulting in remarkable structures like the Vincent Thomas Bridge in Los Angeles and the Gerald Desmond Bridge in Long Beach. These cable-stayed bridges not only demonstrated the engineering prowess of California, but also offered practical advantages, such as reduced construction time and improved load distribution. The advent of computer-aided design, or CAD, the Finite Element Analysis, or FEA, further revolutionized bridge engineering in California. These technological advancements allowed engineers to create highly accurate digital models, perform complex simulations, and optimize designs for better structural integrity and cost effectiveness. The impact of these innovations extended beyond bridge construction. The construction industry as a whole benefited from the lessons learned and the expertise developed through these groundbreaking projects. Improved construction techniques such as prefabrication and modular construction were adopted to expedite the building process and enhance project efficiency. As California's population grows and transportation demands increase, bridge engineers are rising to the challenge. Envisioning and constructing bridges that are not just functional structures, but also works of art that harmonize with the surrounding environment. Through a combination of daring vision, technological advancements, and commitment to excellence, California's innovations in bridge engineering have left an indelible mark on the construction industry. In the future, this will be a foundation for society to continue to reach even greater heights, and all we'll have to do is to keep moving forward. Join us for the next episode as we continue our journey through the captivating history of construction in California. Get ready to uncover more remarkable stories that form the foundation of this extraordinary state. Until then, keep dreaming big and building even bigger. Stay tuned.